I'm a big fan of seeing other people's lighting diagrams, so I wanted to try and create my own set of objects to use. I'm not a great designer or illustrator, but that doesn't matter. As long as the basic shape is there, it should look okay, or at least good enough to get my ideas across. In this video, I'm going to show you how I created these lighting objects from scratch, so you can make your own. I'm also giving the ones I created away for free, so you can start making lighting diagrams, and then hopefully, after watching this video, you'll be able to add to that set with the ones you create yourself. I used Adobe Illustrator, but you can use whatever you have. The basic principles are the same. The only reason I used Illustrator was that it is vector-based, and so I can scale the objects as much as I need. I created a 2000 by 2000 pixel canvas to give me a fairly big starting point. To create the shapes, I looked at my own equipment and Google Images to give me a rough idea of what the top-down view looks like for these objects. For this example, I'm going to make a basic DSLR or mirrorless shape. As I mentioned earlier, I'm not a great designer and the best thing about making these is that you really don't have to be. We're just going to use basic shapes to overlap with each other until it looks roughly like what we're aiming for. They don't have to be perfect. I used the square shape tool first to give me a good starting point. These can be sized as needed and then I use the direct selection tool to manipulate the individual corners. It's as simple as that. To make sure the shapes are overlapping in the right way, you will need to adjust the layer order as needed. I don't usually use Illustrator that much, but I found it's very similar to Photoshop and InDesign. However, I did find a useful way to create patterns that I hadn't used before. This could be used for a lot of things, but I found it came in handy when creating a fan for the LED light. All you need to do is create a shape and then change the stroke settings to use the basic dots, which can be found under the basic patterns section. To make things like diffusion frames, they are as simple as creating a square and then adjusting the colors and stroke as needed. To make ones at an angle, you just need to adjust the scale until it looks right to you. That's it. Obviously, some shapes take more work than others, but the basic idea is the same. To use these objects to create lighting diagrams, I save them individually as PNG files to maintain their transparency layer. Then all you have to do is drag and drop them as needed into your design. I'll do a quick one of my YouTube setup, just as an example. I should mention that obviously these objects are not to scale, so you'll have to adjust them as needed. I usually just base everything around the size of the person. As these are just PNG files, you can use them in whatever software you have on your computer, tablet, or even phone. I hope you found this video on lighting diagrams useful. If you do end up creating your own, feel free to tag me with them on Instagram so I can see what you come up with. If you want to see more videos on cinematography and filmmaking in general, you can subscribe below or by clicking the link on screen. I make new videos every week and I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.